Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to take you along for a day of cleaning. Um, if you are in need of some cleaning motivation, then this is the video for you. I have got to tackle quite a few tasks around the home. If you're new around here, I just had a baby about two months ago and you know, it's just been tricky to get the cleaning done. Um, so I haven't really cleaned any of these areas in weeks or maybe even months um, So I'm just going to try and you know tackle as much as I can today and just kind of freshen up for spring So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's go ahead and get started So I am starting with a deep clean of our washing machine. This was in desperate need to be done. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the, you know, the little drawer that we have here for detergent um, and I'm going to use the pink stuff and then the Sonic scrubber just to kind of really get in there and scrub it really well. Um, it was starting to get a bit like moldy in some spots, which is obviously not what you want. On your clothes when you're doing laundry so i'm just trying to um you know get it all really nice and clean i've been holding on i wouldn't let you go because every time i try you find a loophole i've been slamming the door and just leave you go when i come back you feed it up the south pole you see my body rush for the escape while my heart And one bit that actually had a bit of mold on it was this drawer itself actually so I just got really um, you know scrubbing in there to get all of that out and make sure it's all clean um, and you know no mold is growing anymore Now that the drawer is all clean, I'm just gonna pop it back in. Um, and then I'm going to get started on just kind of spraying the washing machine on the outside, on the inside, on the rim. Um, and yeah, just kind of giving it a little bit of a freshen up. And I'm using my Pretty and Fig um, surface cleaner for this. I love this cleaner so much. I am a brand partner with them um, and they kindly sent this to me. Um, and I also have a discount code for um, you guys if any of you are interested in trying it out. Um, it's Madeline one f 10 and that gets you 10% off any um, of the Pretty and Fig products. Um, and I really love it that because it's not, you know, toxic and because I have a new baby um, and, you know, just around children and for us as well, I, I was really pleased to find something that that's non-toxic and it also honestly smells like a spa. The orange scent is my absolute favorite. It smells so, so lovely. And finally for the washing machine, I'm just gonna pop this cleaner inside. It's the Dato antibacterial one. And you just kind of uh, pour it in the drawer um, and you run an empty cycle on your washing machine and it's supposed to disinfect and just kind of really, really clean your washing machine on the inside. So that's um, kind of the final step that I did here. Then I'm moving on to our kitchen sink, which was in desperate need of attention. Um, if you are new around here, I have mentioned this before, but I really dislike our sink because it's a square one or like a rectangle one I guess and it's got these you know edges and corners and it's so hard to keep clean um so yeah the only way I can get it clean is with my sonic scrubber which works a treat um and I'm just using the pink stuff on it as well um and yeah I'm just kind of getting in there all the corners um the little drain thingy yeah just giving it all a really good shine when I come back you feed it up the south
after that's all done with the sink i'm just gonna pop some zoflora in there i love the linen fresh scent and I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there and then I'm going to use my kettle and just kind of pour some hot water on it. Um, and this really just kind of helps to disinfect the sink a little bit. And that is the before and after. It is so much shinier. Um, now I'm going to move on to just kind of use my Pretty and Fake all over the um, kitchen surfaces. So I'm just going around um, our kitchen counters. I'm also going to use this on the hob that we have here. It wasn't too bad, so it didn't need like a deep wash or anything. I just kind of sprayed that a little bit. Um, and then I'm also going to use this on the um, extractor fan. Um, just to give it a bit of um, a bit of a shine and then I'm just gonna do the same thing just kind of spray on the uh, dining table just the windowsill and everything like that did you pack the flashlight the blanket and the man it's a real adventure the trail you're looking at I'm glad you came for a while I thought you might be bailing is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear but a thousand years seem like almost no time now Moving on to the living room, um, I'm just going to tidy up all of these toys. Um, honestly, I get so many messages, especially on Instagram, um, from people saying, oh, your house looks so tidy all the time. And honestly, I wish you could see my house all the time because it's definitely not tidy. Like the way that you see it right here, it's probably what it looks like. 90% of the time like there's bottles there's you know glasses toys nappies everything everywhere um, and I just think it's so important to put less pressure on us like you know keeping a tidy house is just not possible when you have young children um, I try my best and you know I try to keep it clean obviously but the like the toys and things that are on the floor they're just gonna be there like it's inevitable it's just the stage of life that we are in at the moment and I think it's just so important for us as moms to put less pressure on ourselves. Next I'm going to use this Dr. Backman um, pet and carpet stain remover um, and I'm just using this on the sofa because there were some chocolate stains from um, my five-year-old. He ate some chocolate on here of course um, so I'm just gonna clean it up and um, a lot of people like dislike having a light colored sofa but I actually like it because I can see any dirt that's on it or any stains and I could just get those off um, and this works a treat for that and then I'm going to just take all of the cushions down and do a bit of a sofa dive because honestly the amount of crumbs that <laughs> gather under here is just insane every single time even if I do this like every week I'm sure it will look the same like there's so many crumbs on there and it's honestly one of the most satisfying things ever to hoover all of those crumbs up right here. Do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and I thought you knew I could die to keep you near. We've got a fire in the tent, it's 5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left, get in trouble again. That stuff got nothing on you, that was brand new. Still it's got nothing on you tonight. I don't need to go over all and then the last thing that I'm going to do in here is just kind of go around the living room and give it a good hoover um, and yeah that's um, pretty much everything that I could get done during my baby's nap time she, her nap times are kind of all over the place because she's still young they don't really connect those sleep cycles very well at this age she's two months old um, and yeah it's just kind of tricky to get a full nap out of her which is fine they're just not developmentally there but yeah it just makes it trickier to get um, you know all of the cleaning done but I'm quite pleased with how much I got done today um, I hope you guys have gotten some cleaning motivation from this um, don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and yeah I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you in my next one bye guys